last year in Las Vegas and put himself in the number one spot in the official World Golf ranking once again. There's a birdie putt at the fifth. McElroy off to a very nice start with a birdie at four and five. How about going to the sixth? Here's his second shot. Yeah, 339 yard drive, 147 to the hole, back left hole location. McElroy with just a short iron here. Taken dead aim, a beautiful golf shot, and three birdies in a row for him. Post a six under par, 65. McElroy on the tee at 15. This is a hole, Trevor, we are going to love to watch all week. Oh, yeah, drivable par four. 352 to the front. You can see the group in front still on the green. John Rom going, hey, Rory, we're still up here. Yeah, he's not saying the field goal is good. He's saying, hey, <laughs> hey, we're standing here on the green. Magnificent the shot, nonetheless. Absolutely. McElroy at 18 now. Lengthy birdie try to join the fray at six under. All right, he cozies that one up there. Rory should be able to handle that. Again, he has a chance to retake the number one spot in the world. That's a very big deal for these guys. That it? sure is. He spoke about it earlier this week, how he wants to get back into that position. He's been playing some unbelievable golf. Rory McElroy with a driver. Mm -hmm. Best things in golf, I would say. This is high left, trying to cover those trees on the left. And he has to hug that left side with that driver, and he did because he could run through the right side. But that is pretty much ideal <laughs> right there. Taking it very high, left of the flagstick, turning over towards the center of the green. Yeah, really big swing with a the wedge there. Not his best. Yeah, once in a while here, you have to. These greens are so quick. Gosh, look at that. Yeah, that's really a good putt, though. Done some nice work with Brad Faxon on the greens. He's become a, a very solid putter. I don't think he's as streaky as he used to be. Very high. Gosh, 159 foot apex. That is way up there. One of the few putts on this green that probably doesn't have a ton of speed to it. Did he do it? Yes, he did. Perhaps that unlocks the seal for McElroy and he'll put his foot back on the gas. right over those trees. Well, he, he just talked about it with his caddy, started left of that pine and hit a cut and that's exactly what he did. And it's impressive, isn't it? Isn't it? Some kind of wedge here, 142 yards. Aimed right, trying to draw it in. Mm, that's nine and here at 11, poor wedge shots from McElroy one of the best players in the world for a long, long time. 106 weeks as the number one player in the world, the fourth most all time. Maybe bump a littler one in there. Just take a little more club, take something off of it. Way up in the air. Maybe just a little late on it. 187 ball speed. Oh, and the bounce. Oh my goodness. 187 <laughs> ball speed. Not fair. Oh. This is right at it. it. Needs to get up, I think. Oh, it did. How about a two? Ooh. Not where he was looking, but he will certainly take it now. John, you can't believe how close that came to going in. Even on the day, this could really jumpstart things for him. I've seen a number of players miss that putt to the right from beyond the hole. Something that's fooling them there. Remember Thomas, Rahm, everybody missing to the right. If there's such a thing as a disappointing birdie? No question about it. This club is putting him in the smallest width of the fairway. Kind of a controlled yeah. low one here up the right yeah. side. This looks good. It's a smooth bounce, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Well, he went up with it. I thought he might mm -hmm. just hit something low and run it up there. But Clean, great looking shot here. How good is that? <laughs> he got spin on it too. He got all ball contact first. That was really well done, and that is very makeable from where that ball ended up. Man, right in the heart for McElroy as well. What a birdie from that sandy area with that wiry grass around the ball. Oh, with the eight, he can ride the draw. One armed it, but uh, not a bad looking shot. It's just right of the flagstick. That's exactly what I asked him to do 20 feet right of the oh. hole. He didn't like it. Now, McElroy's probably thinking, wait a second, if he's going to make it from off the green, how about me? Ooh. Well, he's just hanging around. He's got the short par four coming up. Can't wait to see if he pulls the drive. He's got to hit one of his best to carry it all. Iron up the right side. This looks really good. And I'll let him know he broke everybody's heart. Yeah. <laughs> 156 mile an hour ball speed with that iron off the tee. Definitely went at that one easier. Just left of the flagstick. So, so, really. Just a sand wedge there. Good week for guys that like to die putt. And gets it to go. So McElroy moves to eight under. Really turned it around on this back nine. McElroy. This one up the right side. There's a couple of fairway bunkers over there. And hung in there. Yeah. 103 feels like a big lob wedge for him. Uh, cut it off a little bit. And this Duh. is left. This may need to get down. Yeah, double cross. Was trying to hit the little hold off fade. Pulled it. That's why it went further as well. Oh, this is really well done. Oh. Great speed. Almost jarred it. Success. It's a pretty cool quality that he has. McElroy cleaning it up. Asking for it to sit. He thinks it's on too much on that line, but it's starting to cut a little bit. Oh, I'm not sure he could have walked up there and put it in a better spot if he dropped it right there. On a good line, but you hear him asking for it to go. Yeah, because of that short iron, probably just a nine iron there. I think John, it just didn't release. Jim Furyk 58 wasn't bad either. Yeah, that was pretty good. McElroy for birdie. Should snap pretty good right there. Coming to think of it, the last time you and I together, Kurt, at the Shriners, Cantlay had about a 20 footer on the 18th That's hole right. to shoot 59. Was that third round, maybe? I believe Second so. Second or third round. So we were on the edge of our seats that week, too. And not surprising, he finds the fairway with it. Don't think he caught that solid asking for it to go. If it covers that bunker, it could be good. Oh, oh it did. did it. Covered it, landed softly. Beautiful looking birdie upcoming for McElroy to get to nine. That's birdie number six for McElroy. He finds himself just two shots back of this third round. Now, this might be the shot of the tournament. McElroy second at the par five fourth. Check yeah. this out. This is McElroy in full flight from 227. Just not many players in the game of golf that can launch a long iron that high and get it to land softly on these extremely firm greens here at Congaree. Eagle for McElroy at the par five. Basically a tapping eagle for Mac, but he is a factor. So is this man, McElroy for birdie at seven.
breaker from his left hand side. That goes in three under in his last four holes. Fast forward to the eighth. McElroy just one back now. Hole location all the way in the back left corner on a little plateau here. That's great control from McElroy. Good shot. Good look at birdie once again for Rory. Round three from Congaree, where the headliners are on the first page. Roy has a birdie putt here, Smiley. Only Grab a share of the lead. Foot in front of him, Steve. It's so fast. Mm. And it's still rolling. Mm. Uh, especially with how fast these greens are. Rory kind of compared these greens being as fast as Augusta's. So they got to be really careful out here this uh, next couple of days. Yeah, Kurt mentioned that they're running 13. Yeah, Kurt, first time playing this back box here this week. It's over 500 yards. Important to hit this one solid, and Rory has done this up the left side of the fairway. Great drive. Boy, he, this golf course is such a good course set up for McElroy. That driver is such a weapon. Mm. This hole is really playing difficult. Half a shot over par today, 496 into the wind. Yeah, this should fit his eye pretty good here. Likes to turn it right to left, and that's exactly what it's doing. Oh, yeah. Stay there. There's some slope that feeds it away, and it does feed it away a little bit, but a good swing. Should be booing a lot left at the end, Kurt. Boy, it's it's easy to do that right there, though. Just still a little up and over for Rory, and then it runs away if it gets past the hole. Rory McIlroy now on the tee at this par three, Smiley. Yeah, what Trevor, you mentioned he's played this back nine great all week, and anytime I see a left hole location for Rory, I like his chances. Yeah, he gets to swoop that draw in from right to left. And there's another good one. A little unfortunate on the hop, but perfect distance control. Absolutely, and uh, Rory's got a putt here that's moving right to left. Should fit his eye pretty well. That's two in a row. We'll go up to 11 and McElroy on the tee. Yeah, Kurt, Rory's been driving it so well, and he's been able to hit this high fade on command whenever he wants, and he's done it right here, right down the middle. Yeah, there are lines that McElroy is taking off mm -hmm. some of these tees this week that the other players just can't take. Yeah, Kurt, ball below the feet, back right hole location, green moving to the right, sets up perfectly for a fade. And it's trying to. Needs to hold up a little bit. High and soft, but with that runoff in the back, not going to hold the green. That's not a bad spot to putt from, though, for the outright lead. Yeah, up that hill, Kurt, and he saw the pace of Aaron Wise's. I think he knows he can be a little bit more aggressive with this, but kind of lacking a little bit of energy on that one. Five right to left win. I expect Rory to go after this one. He sure did. Yes, he did. Hit a bomb down here yesterday. Where is it? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, sure, it must be nice being able to turn par fives into par fours. That's where if he hit that well, he said hit it pretty good. And this one's good as well, right at it. Well, it's Hanging there, right there, mm -hmm. it just falls off. A little unfortunate there. Yeah, even though he's off the green, he's putting from a pretty good spot here. Should be just up the hill, maybe a little right at the end. Ah. He made a three at four, and he made a three at 12. Suddenly, Rory McIlroy has catapulted himself to the top of the leaderboard. Fairwood hit on this golf course, all sloping right to left. There's a penalty area down the left. Hey, he's trying to hit a low cut here, Kurt, but it's kind of leaking out to him on the right. He hit it into this sandy area yesterday. A bit with a little bit of tree trouble, but should be fairly uh, doable here for him. He's tr trying to cut it, but it sounded a little fat. It sure did. And with a spinny wedge out of that stuff, that, that potential to plug in that. Kind of like that. Beauty. Yeah, Kurt, he's looked at this one pretty hard from both sides, just uh, confirming his read. Okay, no problem there. I can tell you that Aaron Wise did miss his par putt, so he made bogey at 13. Look 
looking to fly at about 235, but the double cross here, and that'll keep going for a little while. Yeah. That is a pretty big miss. Have it trundle up. If he tried to play it onto the green, no chance of getting it close. You can see him hooding that face on the backswing. Mm. Well, let's stay there. Looks like it just is. About this. A decent three. <laughs> Great effort. That would have been a bonus three for McElroy. As it stands, though, he'll drop back to 13 under, which means Kurt Kitayama now has a share of the lead once again after McElroy ends up making his four. He could probably get it up onto the green. You, I don't like left here. That right bunker is definitely the better miss here. He's driven it on this green already this week. And this is going to be left. There's a ton of slope from the left side of the green toward the right, and that will make this shot very difficult. He does not have much green to work with. Oh, man. Keep going. Honestly, this is going to be pretty good. It going. is. That was a really good break, actually. How about that? It you actually think so? hit that sprinkler head. I, I don't I wonder where that would have ended up. A nice bounce back here after the bogey at 14. Can't quite get it to stay online. Had to be very careful with the speed. Yeah, he knew he couldn't miss it left of this green. He knew that was going to be a tough shot. Oh, this is left, but it is a little bit too far left. Oh, how nice good is that? Did he get a Whoa. break or what? How about that? Oh, yeah. Now McElroy. Yes, yeah, Steve, ball a little above his feet, so I imagine he's going to try to draw it, but he needs to be careful with that bunker right of the green. Yeah, careful he was. Nice shot. Yeah, one of the better wedge shots we've seen from Rory this week. Hit pay off an eagle at 12. Yeah, straight uphill, not much in this one. Okay, that's how you play 16. McElroy, all by himself once again at 14 under par. Yeah, very difficult tee shot today, playing back into the breeze. I don't think he can carry that bunker on the right. Well, he doesn't have to worry about that. This is heading yeah, to the left. Yeah, this one's heading to left though. Needs to get down a little bit. Oh, oh boy. Mm. All right. Staying out to the right. Way right. Boy, that'll be, I don't know how he'll play it, but. Yeah, there's a little clump of, clump of sand behind this that makes this extra difficult. But he's actually, looks like he pulls it off and he's a go. Yeah, there's some slope right there. Had he gotten a little bit further there, it would have taken the slope on the other side of that crown. Putts have been holed from here. It's a very difficult read. There's some slope down now. Yeah, pretty well done, but that will be a bogey for Rory after an errant drive. You mentioned it when we were talking in a commercial there, Trevor. Two hooks in a row with that driver, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Mm. McElroy still in great shape, tied for the lead. Go. Asking for it to go, just catches that. Little ridge there, feeds down to the bottom. That's going to leave him a nice angle. I expect this to be his uh, patented high draw here. Perfect wedge number. Looked like he was a little late on it. Ah, just floated on him a little bit. You could see he was begging for it to go there. Just 
trip right on him in the middle of the putt. Tap this in for a 67. 66, the best round of the day from a few different players. Steve Sands pleased to be alongside Trevor Immelman once again. Here's Rory, par at one, a birdie at two. Yeah, he has been feasting on the par five so far this week, and there is another birdie. Had the lead all to himself, and then a big par save after getting in trouble at three. Yeah, I drove the ball way right and was stuck in the sandy area. Huge putt there for him to keep the momentum off to the birdie at two. McElroy had some business to handle at the fourth with his third shot. Yeah, perfect lie in the sandy area, great control. Gets that club face way open on the back swing. McElroy again at six with his second. Ball above his feet, he's gone down the grip a little bit just to account for that 168 yards. And McElroy has the irons a dial here at the sixth hole. Let's go back to the seventh and Kurt Byron. Thank you, Steve. McElroy here for birdie at the par three. John Wood will be with this group today. Rory has only seven putts through the first six holes. He's three under, no bogeys. No, no problem there. So McElroy stays at three under here on Sunday with those birdies. He's been crushing the ball off the tee. up the right side trying to turn it over a touch. My goodness, 186 mile an hour ball speed off the eighth for McElroy. He just answered your question, who was gonna be aggressive and when and where? There he just go. did that. The usual very high, this is actually a touch right of the flag. Thankfully comes up a little short. So no issues with the drop off behind the green. Would have got a little bit of a look off Kitayama. Hmm. That'll make him think coming back. Take a little change out the pocket. This isn't a lengthy par save, but this is in the category of make this and it keeps the momentum going. It's the par saves guys say all the time, Trevor, you and all the fellow PGA Tour players. It's his first three putt all week. Mm. So the lead is trimmed to one. Very high it. and right over the corner. Gorgeous yeah. tee shot. 184 ball speed and 311 carry. He just has it right in the slot with Man, the driver, doesn't he? What a weapon that is. Oh, he's well, aiming right of it. Be able to tell by the swing. Went with less club. Pretty aggressive, towering shot. Starting right, right at the hole now. Good looking shot. Yeah, it sure is. Very well played. Little too much break. Yeah, one of those second place finishes was in Mexico where he finished second to John Rahm, battled with him on Sunday. See if he gives us enough room to move with that wind up top right to left. Again, towering right side of the green, turning over a hair, but uh, very average for Rory, I would say. Almost in that same spot we just saw John Rahm at the 10th and Rory McIlroy. Up the hill, moving to his right. Moving diagonally on that hill right in front of him, which is always tough to read. You got to match up speed and line perfectly. Just that little bit of run out every time. Yeah, that's about the same length as the one he missed over on eight. Okay, well done. Good two putt there for McElroy. Uh oh. Quick. Black, black. Way left. 
He hit that shot once yesterday, that quick hook. Twice 16 and 17, remember? Sounded like good contact, hit it at the left side of the green. Yeah, it's going to turn out just fine. So he definitely got away with a poor swing there. We, yeah. we did see that a couple times yesterday on the back nine. Mm, great recovery. Speed was really good. I think he's happy with that, other than that he would have liked to have seen it gone in. It was a good looking putt. Yep. And he is happy to be able to walk off of this hole with a four after one of his worst swings of the week. Very high left of the sandy area. Looking for it to get through those trees. It did, but did not find its way to the fairway. Oh boy, got it right through the gap, turning over. <laughs> really good looking shot. Gonna need a bounce, but. <laughs> yeah. Now it just needs to settle. Let's see where it ends up. In a very similar spot to where he hit it yesterday yep. when he made the eagle. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Just like Kitayama, both of those shots were exquisite. That's such a great sound. Did you hear, hear the strike, the contact on that? Through 54 holes, and there he is tapping in for birdie today. And speaking of the top spot, he now resides in it all by himself. Like 130, 140 feet in the air with the driver. And this one, much lower. Look at that, 56. Let's see if it tumbles through. Might be past it. Mm. Kind of hard to tell. I think he's just in some rough there. I don't think he's in the long, wispy grass. Going down the grip a little bit. Go. Go. Took go. it up top, asking go. for it to go. Oh, That's a really right good shot out of that. He was very concerned that that ball was going to come up short in the bunker. Good looking putt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, some guys are more bent towards the numbers and the science, and some guys are more feel natural type of players. I would put Rory in that category. Obviously much higher. Go, go. Just right of the flag go. stick, asking for it to go. We get to bounce forward. Oh! It did. And that's fortunate there too. Anything right of the screen feeds way off that right side and leaves it difficult up and down. McElroy into the lead at 17 under. Two birdies in his last three holes. Oh boy, mile in the air. The edge of that front sandy area it might need to carry. Mm. Didn't quite. If that ball is sitting up though, that is not a bad spot. That caught the down slope. Oh yeah, he's gonna like it. Oh yeah, he is gonna like it, boy. He's got some momentum right now after making that birdie putt at 14. Yeah, that's a great up and down. A two shot cushion with two to three to play, excuse me. Let's go, Congrats to the Gahafers. Needs to bounce. The left side. Just crept into the longer stuff. Okay, 
safely on the green. Yeah, all in all, pretty good, I'd say. Back at 16, McElroy for birdie, trying to take a stranglehold on this tournament. Does just that to 19 under par, the first man to reach there. We're going to find out. Taking an aggressive line. They did Make not. It. Cleared it by a ton, but this is way right. And not solid, I don't think at all. That's exactly what he did, the chip and run. This is, this is so good. And in such good shape. We're gonna take another look at that sandy area. Well, a bogey and a little bit of an opening maybe if Kurt Kitayama can make his putt. Put this in the fairway here. Don't make the mistake you made on 17. Oh, yeah. High draw. Oh, yeah. This may miss the fairway left. Mm. No, gets a good bounce. Yeah, really nice bounce there from Rory McIlroy, who is moments away if he handles his business here at the 18th. Headed towards the center of the green, mile in the air. Just cleared that sandy area there. Settle. Oh my, Ooh. that is very surprising. Mm. Now he's gonna put the coin down. There you go. He knew what he was doing all along, didn't he? <laughs> well, Rory arrived as the favorite. He'll leave Congaree with the trophy. There is a new number one. But it's a familiar name. Rory McIlroy is back atop the golfing world after winning the CJ Cup in South Carolina for the second consecutive year. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.